What up, Lindsay? What up, my dude? We're checking out. Drummers. Literally one of your most favoritest drummers of all time. Favoritest? <laughs> in existence. You play his sticks. I, in turn, have to use his sticks. <laughs> yeah, you play his sticks now because you're playing drums too. Yeah, I'm in the middle yeah. of like, not even the middle, I'm at the end of like a 30-day challenge of learning drums. And uh, yeah, those sticks are big, dude. <laughs> Yo, you keep going down the path you're going. We can start like naming these videos <laughs> Drummers React. Oh my God. No, I don't think I'll ever be at the point where you can officially call me a drummer. <laughs> like drummer and bongoist. But I hear you in that. I hear you in that room. I'll be out here like meditating or hanging out or whatever. Yeah. And shows one and two and three <laughs> and four. I'm like, let's go. Just trying so hard to play to that metronome, man. <laughs> Yeah. So what's the deal? How do you play to a metronome? Oh my God. I had the exact same question. I, obviously, you know, but <laughs> I had that question at first. I was like, how do you know? Like I was thinking it was like, you hear the metronome beep or click or whatever. And then you hit as like a beep, boop, beep. You know what I mean? Like it's like a signal, but no, no, no. You have to hit at the same time as the metronome. You want to like not hear it essentially. Cause at first I was like, how do I know if I'm truly playing in time? And then one day, the first day that I ever actually did it, I realized you want to just basically not hear it. Cause you're hitting the drums at the same same time as it's making its thing. So I ran out here and I flopped myself on the bed. And I was like, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I flopped myself on the bed. <laughs> right? You remember the day? I was like, oh my God, I realized. <laughs> and I was just hitting the hi-hat, like a close hi-hat. I was just sitting there. I was like, I need to play one thing in time. So I'll just start with this element. I was just playing the hi-hat over and over and over and over. And then finally I did it. I played it in time. Yeah, I guess that's where the expression like bury a click comes from. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And like my ear is not like your ear where you can hear like so much different things and like distinctly pick each one out. So for me, when I'm hitting it at the same time as the metronome, I basically like truly can't hear the metronome. It like goes away. I just hear the drum sound. So what I did for her was she's doing this drumio course challenge right now that you guys are going to see a video. Like it's a 30 day vlog, her learning how to drum that she's putting together for this channel for us to check out together. In some of those challenges, there's like tracks, loops from drumio that you have to like learn over. So she like downloaded them. And because of the fact of what she's talking about, there's a click in them but she can't find the click in the mix so i put it in the logic and i just layer the logic click over it and like I, we like triple that it's yeah. like track and then it's like boop, 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 boop. like just so, so loud so loud <laughs> so you can find it so, all right yeah. cool so that's where she is with the drums that's now, the story <laughs> let's go from the starting point to the end point thomas fucking lang and yeah. chris fucking turner <laughs> <laughs> My lord, two of the, I don't know, two of the greatest drummers to walk the planet right now. There you go. All y'all can disagree down below. <laughs> 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 two of my favorites. It's all subjective. It's music. There's no competition. Mm -hmm. Two of my favorites for sure. So I'm not huge, huge into Ocean State Alaska, but with the Chris Turner project, we check that out here on the channel. I'm really mm -hmm. just into his drumming. And I've talked about this a few times. Like an example is Matt Hal Halpern. I'm not big into periphery, but I'm huge into Matt Halpern. So it's like one of those things, you know? Gotcha. Matt Garska. I'm not big into, well, actually, that's not true. I'll listen to more animals as leaders mm. for sure. Yeah. Their drummer's nuts. He's fucking. <laughs> Sheesh. You know, like get him on this. Yo, Chris, hit up that dude next. Oh my <laughs> God. Not that Thomas Lang isn't. Yo, I got to focus. Yeah, We're yeah. here and now. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Thomas Lang. So I do play the Thomas Lang sticks. He, uh, yeah. in interviews many times, I always get asked, yo, what would be like one of your biggest, Thomas Lang is one of the biggest for me just because his limb independence is like, it's just, it's criminal. It like sounds like there's 10 drummers and it's just one dude moving his feet through like six different pedals and creating so much sound uh, with four limbs, which is just wow. nuts to me. So really, really excited to check out what's going on here excuse this really long intro uh i'll hit us with the patreon request and we'll get right into the song so thank you so much to alien pizza julian tim clay oh that's it sorry i said that like there was another uh there you go those four guys thank you guys so much for being our patrons and requesting music like this for us to check out and without further ado let's get in and check out the track triggered by chris turner featuring the one and only thomas lang Are you ready? Chris Turner triggered. Fuck yeah. No, I'm not entirely happy with this. Fuck yeah. Okay, <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, and the trip hits. <laughs> Choose your difficulty. Hard. Insane. Yo, we got some Guitar Hero <laughs> shit going on or something. Ooh. Be a little bish. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Jared Dines, player yeah. two? Nope. Pablo? Nope. Thomas <laughs> Lang? Player two select. Chris Turner? Oh, it's like the character screen. I was like, why is he just chilling?
Enter player two. <laughs> oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh, double feet shot, dude. Duh. <laughs> Yo, can I ask you a question? Are Chris Turner's beaters backwards? Both of them are. Why are they backwards? Oh, that's a great question. Let's take a moment. We'll, we're gonna nerd out just for a brief second. Okay. But before we do, I just want to say that <laughs> it's like <laughs> on one and then. On the other, it was so <laughs> fucking sick. You see how they did that, dude? It wasn't even just like separate. It was like they completed the same phrase with each. I don't know, dude. So the reason why you do that is for attack. Essentially, like you can use the surface. Like beaters contribute to the sound of a kick drum. Mm -hmm. You can get different types of material. And then you can get different beaters that have different options in themselves kind of thing. So it's really popular for drummers to like, both of them are playing the 9000 series, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. I think one's on the machine. No, I think it's on. Uh, it doesn't matter. Both of them are on DW. So they both have the DW beaters, it mm -hmm. looks like. And what they do is the back is basically a plastic version of the front. So you can mm. go felt for like a softer feel, or you can go plastic for more like attack, more snap. And when you're playing this genre of music, you want a lot of click. You want a lot of attack because the attack is going to cut the percussion through all the low end, which is the drop tune guitars and all that kind of stuff. So you got to have that right. like cutting click to it. So that's why you do that. But you can you can use other materials. Like you I personally, like wood, I personally use wood beaters. Do yeah. you? Yeah. So I they're have, technically, they're technically not backwards and they're reversible or like whatever like a swimsuit where it's like you turn inside out and the lining's a, a I, thing too i think what happened is i think what it was is was artist was using a certain style of beater and then somebody had the idea hey you know what let's stop using the felt side let's just actually turn these around mm -hmm. and it wasn't meant to be turned around but then companies caught on to this and they started just turning them around that's my or point. making it so you can turn it around like that you right. know what i mean i think that's how it kind of went down Okay, yo, there had to have been some like like wild level communication between the two to like figure out who was gonna take what parts. Cause like this isn't even like a feature. This is like this is like dual drum. Like it is a feature, but it's like dual drumming, you know? And they're playing it like together, yeah, like, they're cooperatively. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. it's layered. I thought it would just be like Chris Turner for most of it, and then there'd yeah. be like one part where Thomas Lang would be like, like come in and do yeah. some crazy shit, and then we jump back to Chris. But no, it's literally like they're creating the pattern together. It's so cool. Yo, good select on player two. Yeah, right. Thomas Lang's above shot looks so dope. Thanks for playing. Damn. What do you say? It's it was oh wait, oh he's he said, saying more. Okay, it was okay. Take seven, I guess. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> Take seven, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Can't even relate harder to that. Yeah. So, what did you think? That was dope, man. 
That was dope. I was I was really presently surprised. Excuse me. I was very very surprised just because of what I said throughout, mm -hmm. which was I was kind of picturing this to be like when you see feature up until this point, artists have kind of been changing it up as of late. But for the longest time, feature was just like you have the artist, and then there's like a section of that song where the new guy steps in for a minute and then steps back to it. But like yeah. this was like this the layering in the collaboration, the way they like work together to create this, that was really really cool, mm -hmm. super cool. What I'll say further to expand on that mm -hmm. is you know when you get drummers at full kits layering like on and trying to work it in the spaces between one another it can get messy really quick so you gotta like really be aware of what the other player's doing and how to like fill out the space that he's not occupying because you know a drum set can fill like a lot of space real quick you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. totally um but they did it in a way that like you could still kind of make out what's going on you could hear all this all the parts and like they left enough room for each other to like fill in those spaces really nicely like it just felt it felt sick like i would listen to that again 100 percent. i'd cool. put that on and like jam that in the car for sure my impression of it was that it definitely took a lot of like planning and back and forth and everything was very meticulously like handled yeah i would yeah, assume yeah. yeah it was like exactly it yeah. was like every like there wasn't a note that wasn't thought out and like all right this is what's happening you know? yeah like everything was intentional which was is always like in art that's what you want you know i guess mm -hmm. to a degree and there's a lot of i guess there's a lot that can come out of improv too so what am i talking about but that was really cool <laughs> uh that's pretty much all i really have to say about it just another amazing i guess chris has this this solo project now and i guess he's gonna keep doing this which yeah. is really cool i can't wait to keep checking him out so yeah hell yeah thanks for the great music to both those amazing drummers hell yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh Lindsay and i checking out the song triggered featuring or by chris turner featuring thomas lang Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> even the name god damn right? the langinator <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i cannot take credit for that i got that from somewhere oh did you <laughs> yeah for okay sure, for sure i was like sure. shoot that was good <laughs> no, i heard i've heard people say that before that okay was, cool yeah. cool so there you go guys hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for checking it out with us and we will see you all very soon with something new